Hi guys and welcome to my channel. This is my first photo tutorial where I'm going to show you how to do this photo. So this is a complete walkthrough from setting up the lights, setting up the camera till the post-production where we will merge a couple of photos to make this final shot. All you need is the camera and two speed lights. So first things first, we're going to change this Christmassy looking dining room into our mini photo studio. So let's begin. So, what do we have here? Uh, I've put the black background, uh, I have this uh, background holder and uh, I put some black cloth on it. Uh, I put it um, further away from where we're gonna shoot the glass because I don't want any of the light spilling on the background, so I want it completely black. Uh, we've used the mirror here. Mirror is not the best option because um, it makes a uh, double reflection, you will see in the photos. Uh, the best option would be a black piece of uh, uh, how do you say? plexiglass, black plexiglass, but I don't have it, so I'm gonna go with the mirror. Uh, here on each side, I have a Nikon speed light SB910, but uh, you, you, any, any speed light can be used for this shoot because uh, we're gonna do only manual settings. Uh, this is simple Young Nuo RF605 and trigger. Uh, it's for Nikon, but it also works on Canon on any other cameras. Uh, because I'm only using manual mode, so it doesn't support TTL. But I never use TTL when I'm doing this kind of shootings. So uh, for all of my lightning, I always use everything on manual: the camera, the speed lights, and of course the triggers. Uh, on the other side, I have very old. Nikon SB28, but it works, it still works fine. Uh, it's uh, one great, great, great flash. Uh, it's uh, not so strong as this one, so we will have to set it with uh, try and error method. Okay, and of course, very important part why I'm using this on my flashes. So if I would not use this then the light would spread all over the glass and it would not be lit uh, really uh, attractively. So this is a handmade snood, piece of carton paper wrapped with the duct tape uh, and I use it a lot, This is I, I use it almost every time because I want to really control the light that goes out from my flashes. So when I put the snood on, it goes only in one direction, it also spreads but not as much as it would uh, if I didn't use the snood. And for this shooting, I've put a piece of white paper just to diffuse it a bit. It won't help much, but it's better to, to have some white paper that the flash is not di directly set to the glass. It would be better looking light. And I've, I've put some black tape on it because I just want to have a narrow string of light. So when I put this flash here, it will illuminate the glass only hopefully only with a narrow 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 string of light and uh, we will see if it works so i have this on both of my flashes because i want to make a uh, same looking light from the left and the right side so this is basically the setting now i'm going to put the camera on my stand and we're going to take some test shots before we introduce uh, water and uh, the fruit of course let's do this Okay, so I've put the camera on the tripod. It's important that it's uh, standing still because when we're gonna do the real shots, we're gonna merge a couple of photos into one. I've set my camera to ISO 100. My maximum sync speed is uh, 1 200th of a second. And I've uh, opened my uh, lens to F10. So it's, uh, it's quite close because I want to get a larger depth of field. So I don't want just narrow depth of field because I want uh, as, as much droplets in the focus as I can. So, uh, first I will not fire any of the flashes. We will just uh, make one image. And before we do that, we set the focus on the top of the glass. And then I'm gonna change it to manual focus. So now each image will be shot completely the same, with same settings, same focus. So then we can stack it 
one layer all together and get a complete image. So, okay, as you can see now, we got complete, almost complete dark, and that is exactly what I wanted. So, any light that is uh, that we will uh, introduce now is the only light that we will uh, light the subject. So, these continuous lights, uh, like this, this one and the uh, one I'm using to lighten up the room more, uh, they don't affect the image. So, now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to introduce our first flash into the scene. So, I'm going to put the transmitter on. Okay, I will set it now, uh, I think, one eighth of a power because I have put uh, my uh, uh, lens on F10, I have to use more power. Well, but for this, this kind of image, I think it will be enough. Okay, so we will introduce our first flash and we will see what will I get. Let me test it. Okay, it's working fine. And let's see. Okay, it's not bad. Maybe it could be a little lighter, but let me just try to open up the lens. I'll put it on F9 now. Okay, that's more suitable. I like the lines. They're nice and narrow, but you know, I've, I've taken this because I thought that the light will uh, bounce off the mirror, but I will now take it off because I think I will get a better looking light. So I will take this off here too. Okay, let's try to bring it right on 19 degrees. I will put it as close as I can. Okay, let's make another shot. It would be good to have the wireless transmitter so that you don't uh, move the camera, so you don't have to align the layers afterwards. Let's see. Okay. This is looking good now. I think I'm satisfied with it. Yeah. Okay, let's turn up the other flash. So, I don't have the same flashes, we will have to see how to get this is on one, oops, one eighth of a power. I will have to put this one a bit just under one fourth of a power. Receiver one eighth of a power. I will put it also right here. Let's see, what will we get now? Alright, this one is a fire, fire, okay. So, now we got a cute looking glass, lit from both sides. And now, we can try to add water, we have to clean up the mirror a bit. And we can call our assistant that will throw the fruit inside. Okay, so we're gonna throw this into the glass. This is Lajana, she's gonna help me and we're gonna start shooting. First I'll take one image without the, the water or anything and then we'll uh, repeat this for I don't know how many times until we get a couple of good images of splashes, splashes and then we will merge them together later. Okay, Lajana. Thank you. So, the one is for reserve only. <laughs> we don't have any spare ones. So, first use the one and then I don't know. Okay, let me check if everything is okay and get the shot without, no, first without everything. Okay, one more. Okay, this is it. So, I'm ready. We're gonna go on a three, two, one, drop. So, Thank you. So like three, two, one, and then you draw. And I'm gonna try to capture. Them.
Okay, so we got a few shots. Now we're gonna go to the computer and try to merge two or more shots together to make a final image. So let's go. So here we are. Uh, we will discover now what can we do in Photoshop. Uh, I have just selected two images. Uh, these are the only ones I'm satisfied with and uh, because we had a lot of problems because each time the orange would hit the glass it would move the glass so we would go out of focus and then we would have to clean everything and start all over again uh, so it would take a lot and a lot of time to get it really completely right or we would have to like stick the glass with something uh, on the mirror so there are a lot of tricks that we would have to use but we got two photos so it's this one with only the surface without the water splashing and it's this one with a splash so we will merge those two together okay let's open up uh, I'm gonna open first the splash image I will just drag it into the Photoshop Okay, uh, so we have opened it in camera raw, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna try to lift up the exposure a bit, no, now I'm just seeing what works with this image, I'll lift the contrast up, I'll put the shadows down and blacks also so that I, I get a darker background, completely black and I'll lift the whites up to see what they do, yeah, they're gonna bring the orange a bit and clarity a little bit to get a sharper more contrast image and let me see if vibrance works yeah it's gonna do just fine so i will not play with any of the curves or saturation or because this is very simple shot we only have orange and black i want to do i want to go with the good black so i've lowered it down so we have a completely black background we don't have to play with any other sliders so I will save these settings, all of them, because I will use it for the other image. So we will put it as glass, okay, save and open image. Okay, and now I'm going to drag the other image on top of this layer. It will, add, it will open it in camera raw and then we will just load the settings that we have just saved okay and there we go we just hit ok and the this image appears as a second layer over the background image so we have two layers the splash layer and the image without any splash so First, what I'm going to do is to I, I will align those two layers based on the uh, glass edge here, because I didn't use wireless shutter. Every time I touch the camera, it slightly slightly moves. <coughs> so now I'm going to try to correct this. I'm going to lower the opacity of top layer. So now I see the both both of the layers. I'm going to use move tool, and then you see I'm moving the this layer, and I will just put it somewhere approximately on the same edge that when we brush it we don't okay I think this will work fine okay so now once we have aligned them I'm going to put the opacity back and now from this image I want to use only the lower part so I will mask it. If I press Option or Alt and uh, Mask Tool, I will cover the image. It will be completely masked, masked out. And then I will press V for Brush. I will put the, the hardness on zero. And the uh, size, well, I will use a bit of a bigger brush. And now the color is on white. And I will brush in the upper image back into the picture so just slightly brush here because I want to use this part without any drops on it okay okay we did and now as you can see uh, we don't have any water below 
And now I'm going to merge those images, those layers together. I will use flatten image. And I've used a bit wider shot. Usually I would go a lot tighter so I could get a higher resolution image, but now I did a wider shot, so never mind, I will just crop it. Other. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. So I will crop it to get my final shot. I will lose the towel. This okay, the glass should be in the middle, it's a bit not straight. Okay, let's straighten it up. I'll close the image more. And I think this should do it. Okay, let's confirm this. Yes, it's a nice shot. Okay, so now I'm gonna move the, this piece of dust here. I'm gonna use uh, let's do let's use healing brush tool. So with Alt, I will select the place I wanna clone over the place with which I will heal this part here, you will see. So I'm holding Alt, I'm clicking here, and then when I brush over this image, the Photoshop will use the part of the image where I click with Alt, and then it will heal these imperfections. I will repeat this step for every piece of a little dust that was on the mirror okay now we have done this and already we have a beautiful looking picture I don't like this couple of droplets that almost go over the shot where I've cropped, so I will, I will remove those. It will be a better composition, if you ask me. So, with the same tool, I'll move, remove the parts that I don't like. Uh, maybe this here is too much because we don't have nothing on the other side, so to make it equal, I will also remove these droplets here okay I think this will do okay so basically this is the final shot maybe we will have some highlights here so if you will print the image to avoid white spots I will just go here uh, use levels adjust adjustment layer and then I will lower the white to around 253 so this will add back some of the gray color in the places that may be uh, overexposed and now it's good for print yeah I think this is it I don't know if we can do anything more with some other layers like brightness or contrast maybe to bring up the contrast but it would be too much maybe okay just a little bit yeah so that's it this is our final image we just go on save it and we did it so you saw from the beginning till the end how to make this this is not some new shot or something that you didn't see before but now you know how to do it with two lights there are many different ways to do uh, such an image uh, last uh, last week I did something with the white background as you can see here So it's similar. I only used third speed light uh, to light up the background a bit uh, and of course the bigger uh, bowl and uh, uh, Apple so Yes, thank you for uh, watching and uh, Please hit subscribe because I will make a lot of uh, other tips and tricks for you to follow and uh, Hope you will like it enjoy it try to do this shot here and uh, Yeah, have a nice day. See you later Welcome to my channel and welcome to the Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this first for Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this first photo tutorial on it.
Today, we're gonna show you how to do this photo. We're gonna... I don't Welcome to my channel and welcome to this first... Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to this first full... Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> that is successful. <laughs> one. Oh, one, go. Okay, now that. Three, go. 